Okay, I'm just about ready to start cutting the F holes. I've got them drawn on the front. Uh, a lot of builders use what's called a pin router to where they place the plate down and there's a pin underneath on a, on a um, pattern that's attached to this plate and it'll only allow it to run where that pin is and then it's, it, it cuts with a router on top um, or a drill press. Um, I don't have that set up and I've always done it by hand. I just drill a couple of holes in each F hole, one at the bottom and one at the top. And I take a coping saw and I just rough out that, that F hole. And I get it, I usually leave it pretty small. Um, what is drawn on there will probably be close to being the right size, but that's done the very last thing before the finish goes on is to finish and size those F holes because um, I tap tuned the air chamber and the air chamber you attempt to get it tuned to a D well to change that note after you get the whole instrument together tap the top to change that note you increase or decrease the size of the F hole of course um, decreasing the size is a lot harder to do than increasing so uh, start out with a small hole and, and gradually make it bigger all the way around if it makes sense um, I just use a paper pattern and draw my F hole on there. I do it two sides, one side, and then flip it over and do the other. Also, <clears throat> most of the plans call for uh, gauze to be glued to the inside right under that F hole. And what that does is to add support to, the, to those small little points after that's cut out. Um, I've tried doing it with the gauze. I don't. I don't like using the gauze. I don't have very good luck with it. Um, what I got in the habit of doing is just smearing tight bond right there where those f holes are. So I flip the plate over and just draw a rough outline. I don't try to get it very close. And then I will put some tight bond, which we'll go ahead and spread some on those f holes before I ever start drilling. I'll just take my finger and just kind of spread it out, smooth it out over that place. Um, if, it, if you leave it rough, which it shrinks a little bit as it dries, um, you can take sandpaper and smooth it back up. That's about all it takes, and it doesn't take it 10 or 15 minutes to dry. And dry good enough to uh, go ahead and start cutting the F-holes. So it won't take long. I've not had any bad luck with the F holes by doing using this method with the glue and not using the gauze. I've been building for almost ten years and I've never had any problems with those cracking or coming apart. I did have one crack on me in this upper bout and down here but what happened was I dropped the instrument right after I put the finish on it on a concrete floor was the reason it cracked. Too big a hurry. Let those dry a few minutes and then we'll start cutting the F holes.